Good afternoon. It was an eerily similar call for Santa Fe police just a couple weeks after an officer was killed in a wrong way crash. A woman forced into a car, the driver heading down I-25, eventually going the wrong way. As Dean Staley shows us, the scary chase had a much more fortunate ending. A wrong way chase barreling down I-25 toward Albuquerque. After waiting for a break in oncoming traffic, police seized their chance, ramming the car, sending it careening into the cable barrier in the median. Santa Fe police were on the lookout for the Nissan a couple of weeks back after witnesses believed they saw a man force a woman into a car outside a TJ Maxx. Within minutes, the driver was heading down Cerrillos onto I-25, weaving in and out of traffic and avoiding spike belts. At the Santo Domingo exit, the chase would take an even more dangerous turn. The driver crossing over the bridge. Heading the wrong way down the shoulder of northbound I-25 and heading into oncoming traffic to avoid the cars that pull over onto the shoulder. Ten minutes later, state police jumped in and ended it. As Nathaniel Bueno Diaz complained about his leg, oh my God, that hurt. So bad. the officer gave the 22 year old a lecture. You realize how many people you could have killed? Probably. Back in the police cars, Bueno Diaz and his wife, who both have drug problems, explained they were fighting because he wouldn't let go of her backpack that she wanted to take into TJ Maxx. Why did he just stop? It turns out his wife was wanted for skipping out on a Walmart shoplifting case. What happened in your car that you work hard for? It's all damaged, huh? No, you know what? I have to pay for it. I'm going to sit to your car. And see? <laughs> you need to start. Dean Staley, KRQE News 13. His wife had drugs on her, was taken to jail for her warrants. Bueno Diaz was hit with a long list of charges, including kidnapping, because his wife wanted him to pull over, she says. He'll stay behind bars until trial.